the third horseman. I beheld and lo a black horse, and he who was sitting upon it having a zygon, yoke or pair of balances. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, A measure of wheat for a denarius, and three measures of barley for a denarius, and see you may not do unright, Meatiches eyes, with the oil and the wine. Revelation chapter 6 verses 5 to 6. We are not told explicitly what the third horseman does. It is implied by what the voice in heaven says. The voice in heaven instructs the third horseman regarding the exchange rate between wheat, barley, and money. The voice goes on to forbid the third horseman from doing unrighteously with the oil and wine. This implies that the third horseman acts on or rules over the earth's financial system. The condition associated with the third horseman is food, wheat, barley, oil, and wine, at a cost. Man must exchange something of value, his labor, money, or something else in order to obtain food. Has the condition occurred, or is it occurring now? Do we have to exchange something of value for food? Yes. When did this condition start? Right after the fall of Adam and Eve. To Adam God said, Because you have listened to the voice of your wife and have eaten from the tree of which I commanded you not to eat, cursed is the ground because of you, through toil you will eat of it all the days of your life. Both thorns and thistles it will yield for you, and you will eat the plants of the field. By the sweat of your brow you will eat your bread. Genesis chapter 3 verses 17 to 19. Before Adam and Eve sinned, food was freely available to them. They didn't have to work to obtain it. They just ate when they were hungry. That all changed when they sinned. After that they had to exchange their time and energy, their toil, in order to obtain the food they needed. We still have to do this today. The severity of this condition, whether it is a minor inconvenience or an extreme hardship, depends on the wage level and the price of food. The text gives us this information. God limits the severity of the condition that the third horseman can impose. One day's supply of food for one day's wage is the level at which life is sustained, the subsistence level. It is also the minimum level for a slave owner to keep a slave. A slave owner cannot provide less food per day than the slave needs or they become unproductive and die. One day's supply for one day's work sustains the slave and keeps them enslaved. Does a food for wage condition exist in the earth today? Yes. The level of severity varies throughout the earth, but food for wage conditions exist everywhere. The third horseman imposes a food for wage condition. Regardless of the variation in the severity of the condition, Throughout the earth today, the food for wage condition exists. From the richest to the poorest every person must work to pay for, or work to produce the food they need to survive. No one is exempt. When did these conditions begin? When Adam and Eve sinned. Does the symbolic color black help us identify the third horseman? Throughout the Bible, the color black is associated with gloom, grief, and mourning. May gloom and utter darkness claim it once more, may a cloud settle over it, may blackness overwhelm it. Job chapter 3 verse 5. Then they will look toward the earth and see only distress and darkness and fearful gloom, and they will be thrust into utter darkness. Isaiah chapter 8 verse 22. The bondage conditions associated with the third horseman are filled with grief. Does this zygon help us better identify the third horseman? Every other occurrence of the Greek word, zygon, in the Bible is translated yoke. Take my yoke upon you, Matthew chapter 11 verse 29. My yoke is easy, Matthew chapter 11 verse 30. Why do you test God by placing on the necks of the disciples a yoke? Acts chapter 15 verse 10. Stand firm therefore in the liberty by which Christ has made us free, and do not be entangled again with a yoke of bondage. Galatians chapter 5 verse 1. All who are under the yoke as slaves are to regard their own masters as worthy of all honor. 1 Timothy chapter 6 verse 1. A yoke is associated with bondage or slavery. This fits with man being forced to work for the food he needs to survive. The third horseman is bondage, the curse, food for wage conditions. The third horseman is food for wage slavery or bondage, or one who imposes slavery and bondage in the earth. It is the curse that came as a result of the fall.